Please let us know how you... Binge Pipe continues to stick with its commitment to present You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, you are complicit. I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'm eating a hard-boiled egg. Eight players, okay. Well, with a party this size, gratuity will automatically be added to your final scores. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Start the game. Time for question one. To get started, OMG. Let's say Cheese Whiz got in on the Gee Biz. What would be the Gee Whiz slogan? It's milk, fermented. It's cream, clotted. It's yogurt, diluted. Or it's butter, clarified. Who picked what? This was probably the most cultured answer. <coughs> Ghee is clarified butter used in lots of Indian and Pakistani dishes. <laughs> Ghee is better than butter because it's got even more butter per butter than butter. Does that make sense? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Introducing Candy Republic. Suppose scientists discover that peanut butter is sentient and can feel pain. Look, it could happen. How might this influence the candy industry? It would affect Reese's sales. It would affect Reese's sales. It would affect Reese's sales. Or it would affect Reese's sales. Okay, what'd you pick? Effect with an A is the proper verb, and Reese's is spelled like, well, this. Remember, there's no wrong way to devour a sentient life form. Why don't we do it with three? This one's called Think in Bio, and I'm tagging you because it's time for Dis or Dat. I'm gonna read seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a dog on Instagram that has over 100,000 followers, or a Nobel Prize winner in physics. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between an Instagram dog, or a Nobel Laureate. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Let's go. Aloysius Van Winkle. Van Winkle. <laughs> Neville Francis Mott. <laughs> Neville Jacobs. <laughs> Maddie Humphrey. Carp Kush. Wolf Gong Polly. Way to go, most of you. But player two, you couldn't have done much worse. Actions have been taken to ensure you have a better playing experience. Looks like it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Use the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, apparently. You're welcome, devoted customer. Take a good look at... Polly wanna clap back. Hey, could you help me finish this tweet? 
me. Sure, I'm polydactyl, but I don't let that define me. Also me, a pic of me flipping you off with my extra middle finger, an audiogram of me telling you to screw off in five languages, a gif of me kissing my multiple lovers, or a list of all the gods I believe in saying you're doomed. Okay, who chose what? You. I know this answer. Also you. <laughs> Polydactyly is a condition where someone has additional digits on their hands or feet. Thanks for the help. When it comes to social media, I'm so frowny face heart emoji rocket ship. Coming up next... Type equals squiggly bracket music comma classic squiggly bracket. Except all cookies don't clear your cash. It's time for data mining. Binge Pipe has a whole unfortunate data mining thing they do. I can take it from here. We need some help with the following data. Aladdin Sane. David Robert Jones. Thin White Duke. Who was Googling himself? Axel Rose. Bob Dylan. Brace yourself. My friends, player two has unleashed the screw. Luckily, this question's even better backwards. So who got it? <laughs> Let's save ourselves some time. Born David Robert Jones, David Bowie created the alter egos Aladdin Sane and Thin White Duke. So many identities in one vessel. We like that. Yeah, sometimes you creep me out, binge pipe lady. Expert screwing player two. This is your cash now. That's the end of round one. Let's see those scores. Currently, player two is in the lead. And on the other end of the spectrum, these players are doing the bad thing. Market research indicates that it's time for more screws. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be afraid to use them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. I feel good about this. Six trombones is not a parade. And now... The hills are alive with the sound of math. Suppose the Von Trapp family shared a Netflix account. If Georg and Maria had a joint profile, how many of their kids would be excluded from having their own profile? Seven kids, five kids, three kids, or one kid? Well, well. Player 6 just let loose a screw. Binge Pipe was going to make you read this eventually. Might as well be now. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Remember this moment. Netflix allows up to five profiles on a shared account. There are seven Von Trapp children, so three of them would be left out here. Which means little Gretel will be ruining everyone's algorithm with all those Paw Patrol episodes. Nice screw job, Player 6. Here's your extra cash. Tous les offres. Set. Oh, here's a good one. Cruel and unusual punishment. Whose torture game is on point? The executioner using the brazen bull? The executioner using the rack? The executioner using an iron maiden? Or the executioner... And how do we do? Any medieval torturer knows that you slowly get roasted in the brazen bull, the rack pulls you apart, and the tub causes maggots to slowly eat you. But the Iron Maiden impales you with a lot of spikes. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Why not try the ingredients for a perfect summer? And uh-oh, dress up kit's dime store. 
It's time for a Flicker Fizz Snowscum. Remember to type quick. That cash will be counting down until you lock in an answer. Okay, head in the game. Check out this gibberish phrase and then write down what common expression you think it rhymes with. Mud fizz liquor, pan hotter. And don't get hung up on that punctuation. It's okay to betray friends. Well, it's better than betraying your cousin. My veins are filled with sludge compared to H2O. Let's see how you did. Player one. Don't feel bad. Or do. I think we were all thinking it. Oh, and player one, I saw what you typed. Okay, but frankly, I'm over it. Look, I've been doing this for 20 years, so if you... Wait. No, that can't be right. Not 20 years. I still look so young in my headshot. Anyway, if you want an Easter egg so bad, look at your device. Now, on with the game. Next up, Dissem Vowled. Which of these serial killers was executed by a literal game of hangman in 1896? John Wayne, Gase, Un of Am, Jack the Ripper, or Holmes? Oh, this'll be good. Ah, player three used that screw. Hope you're a fast typer. Let's see how that shook out. You choked. This would have worked. The letter missing is H, and H.H. H. Holmes was hung in 1896 for killing somewhere between 20 and 200 people. I once applied to be an executioner's assistant back when I was desperate for work, but apparently beggars can't be noosers. Nice use of the screw, Player 3. Have some cash. Let's try barrier necessities. Suppose Mexico.com put up a paywall. What should the pop-up message say? To view all seven states, please subscribe. To view all 15 states, please subscribe. To view all 31 states, please subscribe. Or to view all 40 states, please subscribe. What'd you guys pick? Mexico has 31 states. But American Spring Breakers only know about the state of inebriation. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... We may you! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Played by... Match which actors played the following characters. Good luck.
3 takes it! Nicely done, Player 3. Since you barely won, here's barely a congratulations. Good job from all of us here at... You Don't Know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hi, I'm S and I wrote the hangman question about serial killers from this episode and most other serial killer trivia in this game. Also, I'm the author of several serial killer essays for online channels that are blocked at this point. I often read up on serial killers to prepare for trivia writing, dinner conversation, or wedding toast. I cosplay as as villains dissemble me no more tear up the planks here here is the beating of his hideous heart thank you for joining us for this binge pipe bonus content